welcome back to another edition of Queenie Connection. I'm Lindsay Heron and thank you so much for joining us. Coming up on this episode, a bit more about El Fresco in downtown Belleville, and then a brand new musical instrument lending program in Sterling that's been going for about a year now, but more about that non-for-profit. But joining us from the Queenie Humane Society, their executive director, Frank Rocket. Frank, so good to see you. Thanks again for joining us on Queenie Connection. Good to see you as well. It's a pleasure to be with you. With the new mandatory mask protocol for businesses in effect as of Friday in the Quinty region, what are some of the things you're working on? So we've developed a new policy that we're just trying to get put in place in time. Um, we have limited access to the shelter now for uh, you know quite some time. And basically what we're doing is adoption by appointment. So folks can go to our website, check out the various animals, um, fill out a, a PDF that's fillable right off the website and then email it into our staff. We'll review the various applications and choose the one that's going to be the best fit for the family and for the animal and then give you an appointment time where you can come into the shelter and at that point we're asking you to wear a mask. So we have a small area at the front of the shelter um, which is typically known as our cat adoption area that's now uh, used for all adoptions and basically we have a table in the lobby um, if you wish to come in and see your cat that you potentially are going to adopt, um, we bring the cat out, put it on the table, staff are wearing masks, uh, guests are wearing masks, uh, and you meet the cat. If it's a dog, then we just push the table up against the wall and basically uh, do the meet and greet right there in the lobby. All right. Now, in regards to animals, Frank, are cats still taking over the majority of the facility down there? Yeah, as usual. We're 80% or more cats here at the shelter. Um, you know, we just see a lot more cats coming in through the door and then, you know, we get, of course, a lot adopted out, but, uh, you know, dogs, we may have three or four at a given time. And, you know, there's periods of time like right now where we have a couple of dogs in the building, but they're not ready for adoption yet. So we don't actually have any dogs up for adoption, but there always seems to be cats <laughs> ready to go. Now, why are those dogs not available for adoption right now? So if they come in as a stray, for instance, we hold them for uh, five days to make sure that they have an opportunity to be reclaimed by their family. Um, you know, the uh, provincial uh, requirements are that we hold them for 72 hours, but we give them a couple extra days just because, you know, it really does make us happy and the animals happy to get reunited if that's a possibility. Um, but, you know, after five days, we figure if you haven't called us and your pet is lost, then, uh, you know, chances are you're not trying to reclaim it. So if there are missing dogs in the area, where can residents go to kind of check up and see if they're at the Queenie Humane Society? Well, the best thing to do is give staff a call at 613-968-4673 and, you know, provide a description of your missing pet, whether it's a dog or a cat or, or anything else. And staff will take a lost report. Um, and if the animal is there at the shelter, uh, you know, we'll reunite you. And if it's not here yet, we'll certainly keep an eye out so that when it does arrive, um, we can, you know, get you uh, get the animal reunited with its family as quickly as possible. Has there been any animals that have been dropped off during COVID-19 in the height of the pandemic right now? Um, we are receiving some animals, um, you know, through owner surrender. Um, the vast majority right now are coming in as strays through animal control. So we're still providing that service to, you know, a number of municipalities around the area. In fact, I think what's new since the last time we spoke is we're now the uh, pound facility for Quinty West as well. So any animals that uh, are picked up as strays, now come to us and uh, you know they're safe and secure until you can retrieve your animal. Well thanks for mentioning that Frank. Yeah that's brand new information for us and we're always happy to provide a platform to get that information out. Frank though when it comes to your staff they're working in shifts right now to maintain the best physical distance that they can? Yeah absolutely what we've done is we've divided our staff into two teams so we have the full-timers working Monday to Friday and the part-timers, including the supervisor, are working on the weekends. And those teams don't mix so that if we do end up in a situation where, you know, there's an infection here at the shelter, um, at least we have still a second team that can try and pick up the slack and, you know, keep uh, providing that excellent care for animals that we're known for. So volunteers can't walk the dogs right now then? Um, we have a very limited number of volunteers who are walking dogs. We have uh, actually about five folks who've been with us for, for several years who are continuing to walk um, special protocols in place again with hand washing and uh, the wearing of a mask and, and whatnot. Although with the heat right now, walking is fairly limited. Um, and we have a couple of volunteers again who've been with us for a number of years who are doing some uh, light animal care tasks, but the majority of our program is unfortunately on hold until we can 
you know, get through this situation and, and be, be assured that it's safe for staff and volunteers to, to be at the shelter mixing. Are you still accepting volunteers then? Um, I mean, we're taking in applications, but right now our, uh, we, our program is really on hold. So, you know, the best thing would be to wait and just watch our website at quintyhumanesociety.com. And, you know, when we start really pushing for volunteers again, we'll be happy to sign folks up and, and get them activated. All right. Well, speaking of going forward, what's happening with your fundraising walk right now? Yeah, the Wiggle Waggle Walkathon. We uh, we're calling it the uh, Sniff Your Own Adventure version. So we're asking that folks um, still sign up as they normally would each year. All our walkers, who we uh, of course cherish, but this year instead of congregating down at uh, a venue like up at the fairgrounds last year, we're asking that you do your walk out in the community on your own with your dog and then send us a video of your walk and we'll celebrate those walks on our social media. And I think, I know I am and, I'm, and, and many others as well are really looking forward to seeing some interesting videos of, of people out there in the community and maybe even from a dog's eye view. And speaking of some interesting footage, where does the GoPro come in with all this? So we actually have a GoPro and we're going to be walking some of our dogs um, and, and sharing that with folks just so they can get a feel for you know, how much fun this walk still can be, even though we're, you know, socially distancing and, and not, uh, you know, gathering for a large event. I think there's still plenty of opportunity to uh, have some exciting times and folks to enjoy those videos online. Yeah, it's a great initiative. And once again, showing us that virtual events can still be so much fun. Frank Rocket, before you leave us, what do you need from the Quinney Humane Society right now and how can we help you? Well, folks can certainly go to walk.quintyhumanesociety.com to sign up for that virtual event. And we are also still accepting donations in terms of, um, you know, bleach and cleaning supplies, uh, kitten milk replacer, things like that, you know, and of course shop local because it's the local uh, businesses that support us. And what we're asking folks to do is bring the uh, material to the front of the shelter and then give us a shout from your car and staff will come out and pick it up when you drop it off at the front door. Perfect. Frank Rocket, the Executive Director with Quitty Humane Society, wishing you and your staff well and good luck going forward. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.